In this example, we're going to eliminate the parameter from this following parametric curve to find a Cartesian representation of it. So the name of the game is we're handed this parametric curve where we have a function for a coordinate x in terms of t and a function y of t that describes the y coordinate. Both of these are functions of our parameter t. What we're going to do is take one of these equations and basically solve for t in terms of either x or y and then substitute it into the other equation. Uh, in this case, I'm actually going to take this second equation for y of t and take that and solve it t in terms of y. So let's go ahead and just take that equation. So we have y is equal to 2e to the 3t minus 1. And again, our what we're going to first try to do is figure out what t is in terms of y. So our goal is to find t equals something in terms of y. So let's start doing that. So we can add 1 to both sides. So we get y plus 1 is 2e to the 3t. Again, sight set on getting t alone. Next, we can divide both sides of this equation by 2. y plus 1 all over 2 is equal to e to the 3t. Now, the next move that I'm going to make, we're not going to do anything um, mathematically different. I'm just going to switch sides. So I'm just going to rewrite this as e to the 3t is equal to y plus 1 all over 2. Now, the next thing that we need to do is figure out how can we get that t by itself when it's upstairs inside that exponential function. And well, the inverse function for an exponential is a, in this case, since uh, the base is e, it's a natural log. So we can take the natural log of both sides of this equation. And what that will do is since the ln or natural log is the inverse function of the exponential with base e, this left-hand side, we're actually just going to get three times t. The right-hand side, we still have that ln of y plus one all over two. And lastly, to get t by itself, just divide both sides by three. So we have t is equal to one third ln of y plus one all over two. So at this junction, we haven't yet eliminated the parameter and found a Cartesian representation of the curve, but we're on our way there. So the next thing, we'll take the other equation, x of t, and we're basically going to substitute inside anywhere there's a t. We're going to substitute what we have for t down below. So let's go ahead and make those moves. So taking our x of t equation, we have x is equal to t squared plus 2t. And now we're just going to substitute in for those t's what we had for t from before. So we have x is equal to the quantity 1 over 3 times the ln of y plus 1 all over 2. That whole thing squared. And then finally, plus 2 times that same t in terms of y, 2 times 1 over 3 ln of y plus 1 all over 2. So this last equation that we have, it's an equation that relates our coordinate x to our coordinate y, but there's no parameters inside of it. We have a direct relationship between x and y itself. Thus, we have eliminated that parameter and found a Cartesian representation of that curve.